Why should you wear a visor? That's what today's video is about, and I'm giving you five different reasons you should wear a football visor. Now, before we start, it is important to remind you that we are sponsored by Shock Visors here at Footballers. We have Shock Visors on all of our helmets. We absolutely love their visors. If you want to learn more about Shock Visors, we have some reviews on their stuff down below, and we also have a coupon code, Footballers2023, which you can use to get a discount on your visor at checkout right now. So I'll have that all linked down below. Thanks, Shock. All right, reason number one is going to be medical benefits. And I'm talking about things like UV protection and prescription. Now, yes, these two things aren't really that common to have in generic football visors nowadays, so I did want to get it out of the way early. But having said that, in the past, there have been cases where people have UV protection on their visors to help limit the intensity of the sun, even if it is a clear visor. And also, people have had prescription visors where they have their basic lens in there, so that way they can see better as well. Again, really uncommon, so it's not going to be something that you just buy off the shelf, but still good to know it is a benefit. Number two, it's going to be harder to grab your face mask. So this visor is half of the equation here. Now, if you choose to wear a visor, yes, it's going to stop guys from being able to grab inside here. If you have this visor pushed all the way up nice and tight to that face mask, they're not going to be able to grab this top bar. Having said that, they can still grab anywhere down here that they want. So it limits them grabbing the top, but it doesn't completely get rid of the issue. To limit that even more, you do need to go with a face mask that has some angled bars to it. Stuff like a receiver face mask like this one are going to be really easy to grab just because there's not a lot of angles. It's really easy to grab your fingers in on here. Whereas the more angles you have, the harder it is to kind of get your fingers in here. And that's also why a lot of linemen have been switching more to a combo like this, where it's an open style face mask to give them tons of visibility, a couple angle bars to limit the grabbing, and a visor to limit the fingers that come in. This whole month is brought to you guys by Q Collar. The Q Collar is revolutionary technology proven to help protect the brain from the effects of repetitive impacts that you likely aren't thinking about when you play, but they do add up over time. I'm not going to get too deep into the woods on the science side here because we did a whole video last year breaking down why so many NFL players are starting to wear it. And you can see even more guys have adopted it to keep their head in the game and to keep themselves safe. These days, getting a brand new helmet can cost over $1,000, which is not easy for a lot of you guys to do. And the Q Collar protects the brain in the way that helmets just can't. If you are interested in taking further steps to help protect your future with the Q Collar, visit Q30.com. That's Q30.com. Enjoy the rest of the video. Number three is going to be getting foreign objects in your face. Now, the easy one people always point to is going to be getting poked in the eye, and this visor stops that. But the reality is getting poked in the eye is probably not the most common reason to wear a visor to keep things out of your face. I would say by far, it's way more common to have like turf pellets or grass coming into your eyes, and that's going to be with this deflecting. So it kind of does both. Honestly, one time when I was a lineman, there was a D lineman because we played on turf fields. He had turf pellets on his hand. His hands went into my face mask here and I got turf pellets in my eye. So it wasn't as much about him grabbing my face mask or poking me in the eye as it was about those turf pellets on his fingers getting in my eyes. After that, I started wearing a visor. But something like that can happen all the time. If you tackle someone and you go face down, you can get turf pellets in your eye. If you get face planted, you can get turf pellets in your eye. If you dive for a catch and you miss, or even if you catch it, you can still get turf pellets in your eye. There's a lot of different reasons around turf pellets flying up and how common turf fields are. Visors help limit all that. Number four, you can't see my eyes as easily. Now being able to see your opponent's eyes is definitely an advantage. If you're a running back, you might be looking where you're going. If you're a quarterback, you might be looking at your read. If you're a linebacker, you might be looking at if you're in man coverage, who you're supposed to be blocking. There's a ton of different reasons that guarding your eyes from your opponent is extremely helpful. Now, yes, this isn't really true for all visors, because if you look at something like a clear visor, you can still pretty easily see your eyes through it. So this one is more for your smoke and your darker tinted and your colored visors. And if you want to learn more about what visors are legal for you to wear right now, go watch this video. Number five, I have one here, but I know someone that said it better. You got to look good. Look good. You play good. Play good. Play good. Play good. Live good. Live good. You know, eat good. That good. And Dion is right here. Now, 99% of us won't make it to the pay good part, but it is still really important to know that confidence is a massive part of the game. And if you feel more confident wearing a visor, you're going to play better. You might as well do it. Finally, the last tip. Who cares? The reality is none of us are going to play football forever and most of us are not going to play past high school. If you want to wear a visor of any type, do it. If you want to wear a colored visor in practice, do it. Buying two visors really isn't that expensive depending on the brand you're going with. It might be about 150 bucks if you're going to grab like a colored and a clear. Again, we will link shock down below so you can see all the different options. And honestly, if the coach doesn't want you to wear a visor, just say, coach, I honestly only got one more year of football left in me. Just let me try this. He'll probably feel sorry for you because he knows you're not going D1 and he'll let you wear the visor. So that's it. Those are five different reasons you should consider wearing a visor. Again, we have tons of visor related videos and we'll link a couple of our favorites down below. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to follow us on all of our socials. I'll see you next time.